So I know what you're thinking. It's probably going to be another review about the Lanzi compost peat moss spreader, but that's not what this video is about. I'm going to show you how to calculate how many bags of peat moss you're going to need with the Lanzi peat moss spreader. So let's get started. So right now, the current retail price of the Lanzi uh, peat moss spreader right here is $250. This is the 24 inch. They also sell a 44 inch as well. Um, they, that one is a tow behind, so you can hook it up to a, a uh, four wheeler. You can hook it up to a uh, riding lawnmower, a tractor style. If you want the 24 inch, you can't. It's just push. Uh, you'll see that in a few minutes. But again, the 24 inch is uh, $250 plus tax. It is free shipping. I know a lot of people think the $250 price tag is a lot just for a peat moss spreader, compost spreader. Um, but later on, I'm going to show you how you can make that $250 back by doing something that a lot of people probably don't realize that you could do during this overseed season. So later on, I'm going to tell you how you can make back that $250. But first, I'm going to take it out of the box and show you how easy it is to assemble. So the spreader will come in a box just like this. All you do is pretty simple. You're going to take it out of the box. This is the spreader. It's all power coated. Uh, so it's not going to rust. It's it's made really nice. The metal on this is very nice and strong. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is there are two little latches right here. All you do is flick them up. You're going to open up the gate here, and you're going to take out the handle. You're going to make sure you reassemble those latches there. And then all you have to do. Is just connect the handle to the plate right here it's just a push fitting here and it locks in and you're ready to go here's a close-up of the spreader I'm gonna be out of frame here uh, just to show you guys a little bit closer here basically what I was saying before they have these push pins they push up and then the latch the door opens and then you foot fill put in all your peat moss in here and then all you do is close this back up and then you just push, put these push pins back over here like this, and then you're good to go. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna fill this up as much as I can with the three cubic feet bag right here of peat moss. And what I'm gonna do is, is this is 700 square feet behind me, uh, this area of my side of my, next to my driveway. I'm gonna see how much I can go up and down with filling this up completely. And then from there, I'm gonna calculate out how many bags of peat moss it would take to do the rest of my yard and as you're at your yard at home as well. Um, it's a simple calculation. So what we're gonna do, fill this bad boy up and see how much we can put out. able to make four passes up and back with the peat moss spreader completely filled I used about 75% of this bag right here so the area that I covered was 324 square feet so from here what we can do is, is we can take that 324 square feet and we can calculate out what I'll need for the rest of my yard and what you guys will need at home for the rest of your yard so it's a pretty simple equation I have it up here on my laptop here but you guys can do this at home as well I'm gonna bring it up on the screen right now so what you're gonna do is is you're gonna take 0.75 percent that equals the 75 percent of the bag that you'll use just to fill it for one time or one pass then you're gonna times that by a thousand square feet and then you divide that by 324 square feet and from there you're gonna get 2.3 bags so for every 1,000 square feet you're going to need 2.3 bags of peat moss and this is a three cubic bag of peat moss so if you're not if you don't have three cubic feet and you use like two and a half two you're going to have to probably calculate a little bit more but most of these bags are pretty standard most of them are three cubic feet so again i'm going to go over it one more time i'll bring it back up on the screen very simple equation you're going to take 0 0.75 you're going to times that by a thousand for a thousand square feet and you're going to divide that again by 324 and you're going to get 2.31 or 2.3 
bags of peat moss here per 1,000 square feet. So for myself and for you at home, it's very easy to calculate what you would need for your house. So I'm gonna bring it back up on the screen again, the equation that I used. Again, 0.75%, that represented me using exactly 75 or pretty close to 75% of the three cubic feet foot bag. So 0.75 times 6,614 square feet, that's how much my house is, my front and back. And again, you're gonna divide that by 324 square feet. That represented my test that I did here. And for me, I would need 15.3 bags of the peat moss here, the three cubic feet bag of peat moss. I know it's, it sounds like a lot of bags, but it's, believe me, you go through it, especially with a bigger area. And for anybody at home that doesn't have 6,000 square feet, you just plug in whatever your square footage is. If it's 5,000, you would plug that in there and you could figure out how many bags you need at home. So one of the other great things about the peat moss spreader, and I'm sure a lot of people that have seen these before, uh, they keep the hard, big clunks of material inside of the catcher here. Um, and so what's really great is you just open up that latch and you can throw out all that material that gets caught in here. You just throw it out in your trash can, wherever you want. So that's another great thing about the peat moss spreader. Um, would I buy it as a homeowner or a DIYer? Yes, I definitely would. Um, I'm glad I got it. I remember last year, it just, it took me forever to put down the peat moss uh, in my yard. Um, this is gonna save time. It's gonna save you money. Um, so I would definitely recommend this. It's gonna last you a really long time. So one of the things that I talked about earlier was how can you make back your money with spending the $250 price tag on one of these. And one of the great things about these is you could easily rent these out. I know a lot of Home Depots in the area, they have, you know, they have their rental uh, part of their store. And a lot of those Home Depots, they don't carry uh, peat moss spreaders. I know in my area, they don't have them. Um, I was looking last year. Um, so I really think this would be a great opportunity uh, after you do your overseed, put up a Facebook ad, put up a Craigslist ad, put up something where you want to rent this out. You could easily rent one of these out for 40, 50 bucks, you know, for four hours. I mean, it shouldn't take someone more than four hours to spread out the peat moss in their yard. So go ahead, take a look at that and see what you could do. So I hope you found today's content helpful. If you have any questions on the calculations that I did, uh, please comment below and I'll get back to you. I'll help everybody out. Um, I hope everyone found that it's not, it's very easy to calculate out how much you're gonna need. I think it's gonna save everybody a lot of time and a lot of money on how many bags of peat moss they will need. And again, check, check out those Facebook ads for renting these out. You can definitely make back that $250 very easily over an overseas uh, period. Uh, people, they always look for this stuff. Uh, I know it's very expensive, but you can definitely make back your money. If you found today's content helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find the channel, they can find this video. And also, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. I have a lot of great content. I just did a video, I'll leave a link above to a grass seed for this year that I'm gonna be using and what you guys should be preparing for the upcoming fall overseed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.